In today's video, we're going to talk about using specific tools within ChatGPT. In particular, we're going to talk about the tool Dolly and Data Analyst. So for QA purposes, sometimes you might need special OpenAI tools or ChatGPT tools. And if you don't know what tools specifically you need to use, you can directly ask ChatGPT, uh, what tools do I need for this kind of analyst? Uh, uh, and then it'll tell you what tools to use and it'll give some recommendations. But in this video, we're gonna talk about two in particular. The first one is Dolly. And Dolly is an AI program developed by OpenAI that generates images from textual descriptions. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use it to compare screenshots. The second one is Data Analyst. And it's a specialized version of ChatGPT optimized for data analyst tasks. And its design and capabilities are tailored to assist with a variety of data related activities. Um, if you're not familiar with using either one of these, you can just directly ask ChatGPT, how do we use Dolly or how do we use Data Analyst? And it'll give you a detailed response. Next, I'm gonna show you how we can use those tools in ChatGPT. So first, to access the tools, what you wanna do is you wanna to go to Explore GPTs right here. You click Explore GPTs and it'll give you a list of all the different tools available in ChatGPT. There's different tools for writing, productivity, uh, research and analysis, programming, education, and lifestyle. But the one we want to use today is the ones under the category by ChatGPT, and we want to use Dolly. So let's click Dolly, and we'll open it up, and this is basically the interface that we'll be using. So first, what we're going to do is we're gonna think of, we're gonna do a task where we're gonna compare two different images and we're gonna ask ChatGPT to tell us if there's any differences between the two different images. Sort of like what we do in uh, QA testing where we wanna compare two different web interfaces. So to do that, first you click this button to uh, attach the photos that you wanna do. And I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna click photo one, web capture two as well, and open those up. And I'm gonna include a prompt. The prompt that I'm going to include is please compare the two screenshots and list any differences in the two screenshots. Go ahead and press enter. So I paused the video so that we could let some time to run, but this is basically what we get afterwards. Uh, it compares the two different screenshots in 10 different categories right here. But sometimes when we want to do uh, QA testing, what we're really worried about is not really what is in each individual field of the elements, but rather the general structure of the, uh, the screenshots. So for example, let me open up this web capture right here. Sometimes what we're interested in is we're interested in the general structure. For example, the headings of the page, the, uh, the titles of the uh, of the table right here, and we're not really interested in of what's in the fields itself because these we can allow to change because, for example, this could be United States, but we might not have another golf course uh, that's in Canada. And so what we want to do is we want to tell ChatGPT to only compare certain elements that are relevant to what we want to compare. So I'm going to give it a second prompt, and this time what I'm going to tell is I'm going to say, please only compare text input, buttons, table column text, header and footer within two different images. And this should only compare and select from only certain parts of the pictures to compare. And with that, ChatGPT will compare the header, which is the first thing that we talked about, which is the thing we talked about here. The search buttons, uh, input and buttons right here, so text input and buttons. Uh, and then it should also compare the uh, table column text right here. So basically the headers of the table, so the name, address, descriptions, email, and phone, as well as the footers and the table of contents. And with that, uh, it gives uh, a comparison of two different images in a different light. But sometimes we want it to be even simpler. For example, uh, we can tell ChatGPT, if there's no differences between the images, please say there's no differences and don't list anything else. And by doing that, we should get a very straightforward response. So, straightforward, it just says, there is no difference in the text input, buttons, table column text, 
between the two screenshots. And that is pretty much what we want. So that's what you can do with Dolly. So there's another tool that we talked about earlier. So we'll go back to Explore GPTs here. We'll scroll down and then we'll go to Data Analyst. And this one will allow us to basically analyze a file. So what I can do is I can go ahead and attach a file. So I'm gonna use this one. And in this file, I'm gonna open it up and show you. In this file, we basically have a bunch of results from regression testing uh, for uh, QA and analysts. And what we wanna do is we wanna tell ChatGPT to analyze specific parts of the file. So uh, I'm gonna give it a prompt. And in the prompt, I'm gonna tell, please use the data uh, from module in the first column, test results in the sixth column to create bar chart and create pie charts for each module. So I'm telling uh, ChatGPT to uh, use module right here and only um, use the first column and sixth column to create pie charts. So go ahead and press enter. And there you go. So that took a little bit of time to run, but uh, now we have the results. So now we see that it creates a bar chart for, um, for the columns, and it also creates pie charts for the columns. And for example, if you don't like how these, uh, these graphs and these figures are, uh, they look, you can tell ChatGPT to alter the figures uh, to however you want, uh, way you want. You can just type, please, for example, make the bar charts using colors blue and red and so on. Another thing you can do with Data Analyst is you can also compare two different files. So right here, I'm gonna open two HTML files, home and home two, right here. Go ahead and open those two. And this time, the prompt that I'm gonna give is, please compare the two files line by line. So please compare the two files one line by one line. So first thing it tells us is both files have the same number of lines. And now next, it'll co basically compare between each line. Uh, so basically it says, there are differences between the two HTML files in the first few identified. And it has it right here. And so what I'm going to do uh, is, for example, I can say, please give a more detailed, more detailed response, including line numbers. So this is what I told you, but now I'm gonna ask for an even more detailed response. So for example, now it'll tell you that on line 898, the first file home, um, this is what we had. Whereas in line 98 for the second file, this is what we have. And we see the differences uh, between them is that this ends with web elements and this web with web element. Now in line 126 now, we see that here, the width altered is different. So this is 100% and this is 90% instead. And so this is a very useful tool for comparing the different uh, differences uh, between two different files. And yeah, ChatGPT has a, a lot of other different uh, tools that you can use. And if you're not sure how to use them, you can just directly ask ChatGPT how to use them. But we hope this uh, video was helpful. Uh, I hope it sort of taught you a little bit of how to use the different tools in ChatGPT, in particular DALI and Data Analyst. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.